Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to screen record on your M1 iPad Pro from 2021. So what I want you to do is I want you to open up settings, then I want you to find control center, then scroll down until you see screen recording, tap on plus, and now we have just enabled screen recording. So by default, the screen recorder, which is pre-installed onto the device is the Apple screen recorder. However, this isn't the best screen recorder. So I want you to open up the app store and I want you to download, record it, just search it up on the app store, download this one. So the Apple screen recorder, completely free to use. However, the recorded one, if you are interested in recording gameplay, it's a paid screen recorder, four pounds, but it is definitely worth it. So I'm gonna talk about how to use the Apple screen recorder, then record it. So let's start off with Apple. Swipe down uh, from the top right to enable control center. Then I want you to long press on the brand new screen recording icon. And you can see photos. This is the Apple screen recorder. And this means that when we tap on start recording, it's going to use the Apple screen recorder in order to record. And by default, it will be saved to the photos application. So what I want you to do is if you want to have the microphone on, turn it on. What this means is, you know, right now you can hear me speak. If you were to do a screen recording, anyone who listens to that uh screen recording would be able to hear you speak as well if you turn this off people won't be able to hear you speak however if you're playing a game the internal game audio will be captured as long as silent mode is off and you do have some sound on so i'm just going to turn off the microphone or tap on start recording and then you have a little time down and then once the timer has started you can see the screen recording icon at the top right should show up so every action you do is being recorded so swiping across the home screen being recorded opening up applications, being recorded, everything's being recorded other than going to the lock screen. If you, if you press the lock button, this will corrupt your screen recording and it just won't save to your photos application. The screen recorder will just stop. So just keep that in mind. Uh, do not go to the lock screen while using the screen recorder. Once you're done with the screen recording, just tap on the red icon. And sometimes this will not show up if you're recording for an extended period of time. So if this icon disappears, just swipe down from the top right. And then you see this icon right here, tap on this, and then it should stop the recording. If you have notifications on for the photos application, you should see a notification saying screen recording video, save the photos. And let's have a look at it. So we'll go to photos and you can see there's that brand new screen recording. Let's play. So you're going to see every action on my home screen was captured. So I don't think I swiped right away, but we should see it eventually. Boom, you can see me swiping across the home screen is being fully captured and opening up applications as well has been captured. Now let's move on to record it and why this is better than the native Apple screen recorder. So this uh, screen recorder record it has three main perks that the Apple screen recorder doesn't. So first of all, the bitrate. Now by default, Apple screen recorder will record around three to four megabits per second. And the downside of this is if you're capturing gameplay, you're gonna see like big blocks on the screen, like the quality will not be the best. However, with record it, you can set the bitrate to whatever you want. So I usually choose eight megabits per second. If you wanna record like a really high quality game, you can choose 12 megabit for Core Mobile. 8 megabit a second is perfectly fine. Again, you can experiment with this. You have the option for whatever you want. Also, you can record at full 1080p and you can set the frame rate to 60 FPS as well. So you have a lot of customization with the Apple screen recorder. It records slightly under 1080p, low bit rate, but it does record at 60 FPS. I will give them that. Next, uh, with this screen recorder is the Apple one has this bug where over time, if you're playing a game like Com Mobile, the actual game audio will stop recording, right? So the video will still be perfectly fine, but the actual game audio will just stop recording. This screen recorder, I used to use this to capture multiple hours of Fortnite gameplay back when I owned the iPad Mini 5. This screen recorder, no crashes, no issues at all, right? The Apple screen recorder can also sometimes just stop working. I record, it will crash and nothing saves. This screen recorder, on the other hand, I've never had this issue once. Right? Of course, you do need to have enough storage. Although if you have the M1 iPad Pro, I doubt storage is an issue. I have 800 gigs available on my iPad, but it's just one thing to keep in mind. This screen recorder, if you want to properly record gameplay, this is the best screen recorder to use. Yes, it costs four pounds. However, you know, if you don't want to pay for it, just use the Apple one. But keep in mind, if you do want to take things kind of seriously, this is the best way to go. So what you want to do to start the screen recorder, just tap on the record button and it'll bring you to the screen broadcast page. And then you just want to find record it capture, tap on that, and then you can choose the microphone. I spoke about that earlier with the Apple screen recorder. Then we'll tap on start broadcast and the timer will count down. So you don't have to be in a recorded application, 
uh, when the recording starts. But you can also see when you go into this app, it will show you how long the recording started. So we can just swipe around, you know, do whatever we want. Again, this works just like the Apple screen recorder. It just records in the higher quality. So let's just uh, go back to the recorder application. So you can either tap on stop recording, you can, or you can stop the recording like you do with the Apple screen recorder. So if we just tap on stop recording, you may get uh, an error code, but that is an error which says, you know, the screen recorder is stopped. You can see, stop recording due to user stop recording manually. So just keep that in mind. If you use the recorder app to stop the recording, it does look a bit buggy. So you can see everything is captured right here. And yeah, it's just going to be a high quality. So, you know, the picture is going to be far more crisp. Now, if you want to save this to your photos, tap on share, camera roll. And then you see you would like access to your photos. Just allow that. And you can see video saved successfully. If we go to the photos application, there we go. We have that recording right here. Now, if you ever want to cut out this beginning part, just tap on edit and you can trim videos now. So we'll just trim from when I'm on the home screen, done. And we'll just save this uh, video. And you can see it doesn't take that long. And now the beginning part of record it has been uh, completely removed. And um, yeah, I hope this video up to right. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.